Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Um, we're going to go through the astrology and we are going to go through the intuitive tarot reading, but they are both linked. So um, there's been something that kind of disturbed me that I saw in one of my videos. So a quick talk of shop. Um, by the way, this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. And remember, it is your reading. So please apply it the way that it resonates. If I give an example that sounds romantic, but it resonates more for your career, it's your reading. Apply the energy where it resonates. And the energy finds you where it's at. So the astrology that I'm gonna discuss is from November 29th through, I believe, December 4th. But when it reaches you is 100% dependent upon when you're ready to hear it. So it could reach you a year afterward. This is ultimately an energy reading that will come to you when it is supposed to. The astrology that I'm gonna discuss is just gonna tell you when the astrology drops. And uh, it's like when the, when the pebble hits the pond, when the ripples actually reach you is dependent upon when you're ready to receive it. But it's always valid and it's valid when you need it to be valid. Um, but the thing that has been bothering me is I've been seeing that some people have been leaving um, timestamps in the comment section. I ask you to not do that because it is doing a very big disservice to the readings. I work really hard to research the astrology and as you can see I already have some cards in front of me so I know how the astrology sets up and how it is already impacting the baseline of the cards. I do things very intentionally. The reading does not begin when I show you the cards. The reading begins as soon as I open my mouth. I am the channeler, I am the astrologer, and I am the tarot card reader here. It's not about the cards, it really is about my connection with them. So um, I don't want anybody leaving any kind of timestamps. Believe me, I've been a YouTuber for three and a half years now. I know how to leave timestamps. If I thought they were appropriate or they were gonna help you or enhance the reading, I would do it myself. I intentionally don't do it because I build my reading in a specific way that is geared toward helping you heal, helping you understand so that you can heal, and helping you progress in your life, not giving you instantaneous gratifications by pulling a card and telling you what you think you want to hear. That is not what this channel is about. So please do not leave any timestamps. I do not welcome them. And if anybody does, I will delete those, those comments. And if it continues to happen, I will block the people who do it. Just an FYI. Capricorn, let's get into the astrology for right now. Remember, I'm looking at cards so I know how it's impacting each other. The astrology is fantastic this week, to be honest with you. Um, Saturn is in probably the strongest position of all the planets because it has the most favorable aspects reacting to it. Um, Saturn, in the beginning of the week, up through Sunday, which I believe is about December... 4th, maybe December 3rd, something around there. Um, it's, it, there's a sextile between Saturn and Venus and the Venus-Mercury conjunction. And sextile means you are getting things done. You are making things work. It's almost like a magic freaking wand, especially then in, in situations that involve your finances, your romance, communication. This is a really good time to be an effective communicator in your relationships or effectively communicate ideas that you're psyched about in a way that people will listen to you. It is definitely a time where you will be treated as an authority figure for what you say and how you present what you know. So it is a beautiful, lovely energy through most of this week. In addition, Saturn is trying to Mars, which means that you are getting things done practically. You are able to put things in order. You are able to have patience, to focus on doing things correctly and effectively and efficiently. So this is a really actually fantastic time for you to the point where a lot of people may be coming to you in order to get advice or to ask for help um, because you kind of have it together where everybody else is probably falling apart. Um, if you have any Sagittarians in your life or you have any Pisces in your life, um, there is a good chance that there's a lot of confusion that's going on there. Neptune is really kind of 
square to Mars, square to Venus, fogging it up a lot. So you may also feel yourself encounter people who you can tell right away are going off of pure emotion, reacting to pure emotion, as opposed to really thinking things through, um, mistaking what they feel for what they know is real. Um, so just be prepared for this, but I think that Saturn is just so well aspected this week, you'll be able to handle it and maybe even effectively communicate um, the truth of a situation. You know, it could it could really behoove you to take on that that uh, role of a helpful teacher, um, authority figure. Not in terms of you know shaking your thumb, but in terms of this is this is what my experience has taught me. Let me see how it can help you. Um, really fantastic energy for you. So let's get into the cards and why I <laughs> why why they the astrology and the cards work together at least for me. We have lay a solid foundation. So you have beaver energy. Beaver energy is saying that you are doing things slowly because you want things built with quality. You do not want things built quickly. This is Virgo energy. You're willing to work long term and hard on something. You're also looking for ways to improve efficiency in all that you do because what you do is important to you. And so you want to make sure that the foundation is strong. You may be dealing with a Virgo because this is a Virgo energy. You could also be actually legitimately building a house or building a business. This is a fantastic week for you to start making those efforts into building or setting the foundation to whatever you are building. Could be your business, could be your relationship, could be an actual home. Whatever it is, this is a good time for you guys to do it. Not necessarily for other zodiac signs, but this is a very efficient and effective energy for you to get that paperwork started, to get those applications started, to get the documentation started. Really, really good period for you. Then we have trust in the magic. There's something new here. This is a new beginning. It's a new start. But it's also like a practical way of like, it's almost like, okay, I just birthed this baby, I wanna be able to take care of it. I wanna be able to learn how to take care of it correctly. I wanna be sure that I'm bringing it to a home that's stable and the roof won't crack in. This is all metaphor, of course, unless of course it is literal for you, but this is a sense of something new that's starting and it's because it's new, you wanna do it right. You wanna do it right, so take it slow. The universe is not rushing you. Other people around may be rushing you, and that's probably going to be one of your major challenges is figuring out how to get them to slow the fuck down. But you will be able you will be able to do this. There's also a sense of something so beautiful that's happening to you right now. You may not want to rush it. You may want to just kind of like slow it down and be like, no, I'm going to actually enjoy the process of this. I don't need an end right now. In fact, I am loving the fact that this is fresh and new a real sense of savoring the moment this week while coupling savoring the moment with hard work you know so that 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 kind of it's almost like it's almost like you purify it it saves it now i did notice the numerology that that did not come go past me there is a 6 and 66 so watch out this week for Thinking everything has to do with the practical and everything has to do with the financial. The angel number um, 666 is actually, <laughs> biblically, it's not what everybody insinuates it is. It's a, an, actually a different number. You can Google that for factuality. <laughs> um, the angel number just means just be aware that you're focused too much on the material world. It could be consuming you. So remember to balance out what you want to build with your faith in the importance of why you want to build it. If you maintain that balance, you will get the most beautiful, sublime results. If you focus too much on, on getting things done and, and the money or the material things, um, in this energy, you will still get things done, but you will also start to create cracks in the relationships, especially intimate relationships, you know, love, real connection, real friendship, 
you just want to give that time. You just want to have faith. You just want to also give people time to meet you where you where you are instead of trying to push them in a cart to stay along with you. Like show them that you have faith in their capabilities by allowing them to meet you when it's time, when it's ready. And just stay focused on your goals. And always, always remember, and if you find yourself, because you're gonna be so efficient this week, it's gonna be, it's gonna be maddening. So um, kind of, don't, don't, I don't ever say dull yourself for somebody else, no. I'm saying remember why you're doing it. You know, not, you, 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 if you're so efficient right now in how you're gonna get things done, remember why you're doing it. Remember the love, remember the faith, remember the, the reason why it's worth, it's worth creating. And that will keep you very, very balanced this week. See the big picture, ah, oh, looking out into the distance. This is also a beautiful energy that says you will be able to see farther. You will be able to make plans out into the distance. You will have the clear skies that will give you the perspective that you need to, or the insight that you need to be able to see that far. Um, you could be planning something. You could be committing yourself financially to something. This is a very good week to do it because the practicality and the pragmatism is so intensely beautifully high. Um, this is also a sense of having enough money to be able to plan out, like, you know, not living week by week, but, but being able to pay all the bills in the beginning of the month and still know what you have, right? So that, that you, so you're, you're putting things where it matters the most instead of reacting every second to the moment. This is really beautiful energy. This is also saying that you're getting a perspective or taking on a perspective that's broader than your own. It's also a suggestion from the universe to say, don't be myopic this week. You know, that's, that, that's gonna drain you and drain others and maybe strain relationships. Be sort of um, have like that aerial view, you know, it, see all, all angles and all sides. You have the time to do it. You're not rushed. Don't feel rushed. Don't let anybody back you into the corner or squeeze you into a myopic perspective because that broad overview is gonna be how you are most effective or efficient this week. Um, lay a solid foundation, trust in the magic, and see the big picture. Somebody needs your faith in them right now. They really do need it. And I think they need it because they probably don't feel that good about themselves, especially when it comes to how you see them. And so you just stepping back and saying, I know you got this, is gonna be probably, if not game changing for them, what keeps them going this week. Just letting you know that, cause some of y'all need to hear that. We're gonna get a little bit deeper into the cards, got to get some moon energy out in here. Remember guys, there's always an extended reading. I will attach the link above. Hopefully you will join me for that because we go into deep, deep details, but we're going to get into deeper details now. Um, what comes out here is basically me unraveling the current situation. Whatever pops out in the past is directly related to why things are happening now. And then we're going to get into the future. So wait for it. We have meditate and contemplate and balance spirituality and practicality. You are dealing with major Piscean energy which is beautiful because it's extremely creative, but it's also very volatile and sensitive this week because Neptune is square to Venus and Mars. So especially when it comes to relationships, it could exacerbate things in your relationships by somebody having this fantastical thinking or being oversensitive and taking, like this is the energy of somebody who gives meaning to every, every little feeling. And everything they feel means something life-threatening or relationship-threatening. And it's almost like you have a real clear perspective now to see it happening. And it, you don't have to be the one that goes in there and saves the day. But you definitely can see what not to touch and what not to get into and what to ask somebody else for advice for and when to get mediation. These are all tools that should be in your wheelhouse this week, especially when dealing with this energy. Now let's talk, this could be a person, this could be a project, this 
could just be a situation. Um, meditate and contemplate means give yourself time to breathe or encourage somebody else to do the same before they react. It's like, count to 10 before you make a decision because somebody is prone and I don't think it's you. I really don't because looking at the astrology, you guys are freaking solid this week. But this is, this is somebody that you're dealing with. Very sensitive. Um, meditate and contemplate, like take a breath. Encourage them to take a breath. Encourage them to take time out. You know, maybe even, I won't say don't even talk to them unless they talk to you because they could be oversensitive about that as well. Just FYI. Balance spirituality with practicality. This is interesting because it's a full moon cycle. It's almost like somebody is going through something to sort of remind themselves or finish up a cycle that they have to finish. So what's really going to help you this week is to remember it's not your, your journey, it's their journey. And definitely don't take something personal. But there is a sense of allowing yourself the time for you, this message for you, is allowing yourself the time to go slow because it says you are manifesting something into reality this week. Absolutely. And it makes sense because at one point the moon is conjunct to Saturn. And Cancerians got this energy. It's like finally getting to hold the baby that you gave birth to. So there is something that is tangibly being manifested into reality, but all the particulars and all the pain of the birth of it is something that you're going to be working through this week. Um, meditate and contemplate. Give yourself time. Be patient and take those quiet moments for yourself. Balance spirituality and practicality. New moon and full moon. I don't know what it is and please leave your comments below because I'd love to know what you guys are working on. It feels like something that was just concept is, 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 is palpable or tangible this week. I want to get into the details. Let's get into some deets. Let's get into some details. What is this about? What is this about? Um, eight of wands opportunities are coming in for you so if you have been building something or creating something it's like all of a sudden an explosion of orders an explosion of phone calls an explosion of opportunities so eight of wands usually means that there's orders that are coming in or job opportunities that are coming in and things are happening really quickly or it's like for the first time something that you've been planning for a while you can actually start to see oh my god it it's really closer than I thought, wasn't it? Like, I can't, I can't believe this is actually, like I'm signing the contract for this. Or um, um, it's, it's almost like you, you get the reality burst of that hot air of reality burst in your face this week. Um, and you see, wow, time is really flying. This is happening more quickly than I realized. We have uh, three of cups, which means this is about people selling, celebrating you or being together with friends or connecting with people that you really like or people that really appreciate you. That's really important. Then we have Cancerian energy. So I spoke of Cancerian energy. This could be family members or people that you consider family, having them close. It's also energy of moving your family forward or a family family member, maybe you're celebrating them. You're congratulating them. You're like, good on you, man. There's progress here that you're going to be very happy and proud of, whether it's you or somebody that you love, somebody that is setting out into a brand new direction. So they're not experts on this yet. So there shouldn't be any expectation for you or them to be an expert yet. You got to start somewhere, right? And that means that you're going to trip up a little bit this indicates that this is something that you have a passion for, but you've never done before. So please be patient with yourself or especially if you're dealing with a younger person, be patient with them and realize, you know what? Slow and steady wins the race. Um, part of building is making mistakes. Making mistakes is no indicator that it's not meant to be. It's no indicator that, you know, you're going to, you're going to ultimately fail. The only failure is quitting. This is a sense of, accepting the fact that you're new and looking at the journey ahead of you, not as a burden, but as an adventure. And then we have oh, wheel of fortune, which is just so good because number one, it does have to do with karma. 
And it also says this is karma that you generated and created. And it's also a sense of life cycle. Somebody is building this new cycle, starting this new cycle, starting on this journey, or there is a fulfillment of it. It's almost like you have the kiss of luck this week. With whatever you begin now, you will continue to generate that positive energy in. There's also a sense of, depending on how hard you guys have been working, that hard work coming to fruition this week and you actually being able to tangibly hold something in your hand, people calling you, knocking on your door, um, getting that website up, taking the first few orders for your business, planning that celebration or that wedding or that, you know, like this is a sense of, this is the home stretch, man. You can actually feel that it's starting to happen. I'm gonna pull another card. Let's keep going. Ooh. Oh, oh. Okay. Queen of Swords, you've been strategizing this for a while. This came out in the past. It's like it's almost like you decided to jump into learning this or jump into figuring out a strategy for this. Even though you were new, you knew it was the right time. You made a decision not too long ago to begin, to initiate, because you trusted your instincts and you knew it was the right time. And let's see, what is this about, really? Oh, my God, my God, my God. Um, house, so something to do with your family and falling. So new opportunities or new building or new construction or deconstruction to reinforce. I'll tell you this right now. It's a family member that dropped, like kind of dropped a bomb on you. It doesn't mean it was bad, but it was sh shocking and surprising. So this is sort of like the rebuild or trying to deal with it and trying to work through it and finally feeling like you actually might have a grab, like a, like a, a hold on the reins at this point. Let's go into the extended so we can get deeper into these cards. I'll see you guys. The link is below. I'll see you there.